All right, so the solution here, guys, is that it's referential to the curve's location in Cartesian space, right? Meaning x, y, and z. So this curve exists in the x, y, and z plane. Oh, whoops, it's not supposed to be that way. Um, so this curve exists in the x, y, and z plane. Um, that's why? Okay, cool. Um, and basically it has a sort of like a different coordinate at each parameter along this curve. So depending on how long I need it to be, the curve can be relative to a particular axis, for instance. So let's reference that into Grasshopper. Set one curve, I'm going to select this. Um, and I'm going to divide this curve by the same number of subdivisions as I have masts. That's this. Um, so what that does is it creates a series of points that matches however many mast parameters and distances, or I should say boom distances I have to create. Um, and if you look at this and you look at that, right, what's the correlation between this and, and that? This, and that, and that, and that, and that, right? All of these points have different y values that mask what I want my mast or boom arms to do. So I can measure the y distances from zero and then apply that to my boom arm length really that simple. So let's go to um, vector um, point. We're going to deconstruct point and let's take a look at the data. So in our y-axis we have values of 1 something, 2, 4, 4, 2, and 1. Um, if I want them to be a little larger I can pull this up. So it's 3 to 6-ish, maybe a little more. So now we have 4, 6, 7, 5, 4, um, so that'll work for me for now. Um, I also don't have to have this thing be located right here. I can move it off to the side as long as it's relative to the um, x-axis 0. That's all that really matters. Um, or I should say the y-axis 0. Um, so now we've got numbers. We want to change how far our booms are extending. So that value is here. That's where we moved these points. So I'm going to override that list into amplitude. So now it's pretty simple in terms of how this is applied. As I change the values of this curve, I can change how long those boom arms are. So if I want this whole thing to be shorter, I can move this thing back to the origin. So what questions do you have? Pretty cool stuff, right? Very simple solution. Huh? This one, deconstruct point. It's under um, vector point. Okay. So. Um, Anyway, this is, the, this is the general solution. So what I wanted you guys to be thinking about is how to create clever tools using simple solutions that offer you flexibility, right? Because now I can just sit here and start modifying this thing until I get the shape that I want that's relative to these points. So, I mean, that's, that's the dream, right? All right. So um, I'm going to close the book on this one real quick, and then we're going to look real quickly at some analysis items, and then um, we'll see about what else we can fit in today.